Welcome to Yang's Kitchen. Let's make something special today. How about spiral Italian macarons? This dish will definitely impress your friends and family. Let's check out the ingredients. Hi guys, welcome to Young's Kitchen. Today we'll be making homemade Italian macarons. Honeydew macarons. Let's check out the ingredients. Ingredients. We need parchment paper, almonds, food coloring, powdered sugar, granulated sugar, and water. And you also need stand mixer, wire whip, trade, measuring cups, scale, sifter, piping bag, spatula, and food processing machine. First step, you need a scale and you need to measure um, one cup of 150 grams of almond. You pour this almond into a food processor. Now you turn on the food processor and let it run for five to seven minutes. Next, you need to measure 150 grams of powdered sugar on a scale. Here I have 123 and I have another 32 so that's around 150 plus or minus. You don't have to be exact. After that, I'm going to pour in my almond meal that I just made and the texture will look like this, a little wet. I'm going to sift it both together. As you can see, there's a big difference already. It looks like snow. Now I'm going to add my egg whites. About 45 to 50 grams of egg whites. Now I'm going to mix it up evenly. Once it's well combined, it should look like this. This process is called the dry ingredient. Now you measure granulated sugar, about 120-119 grams. You pour it in a pot and about 40 grams of water. Pour in the pot and get ready to turn on the heat. Now it is time to work on our wet ingredient. Here I'm putting on my wire whip and I'm adding 40 grams of egg white. Once you see the meringue, the egg whites start to foam, you add 40 grams of granulated sugar, which is regular sugar. Pour it in slowly. 
While it's beating, turn on the stove of the sugar and water that we added earlier. We're going to make syrup. Yeah, this portion is very important. You need to check and see if your egg white is in a stage of stiff peak, like so. Once it reached to that point, you need to have your syrup turned on. Okay, so your syrup should reach to 240. Once it reaches 240, you pour in the syrup into the mixer while it's running. Be extra careful. It's very hot, so don't turn it on high. Just turn it medium high and let it run. for a good four to five minutes. At this time, you know that's ready when your meringue looks shiny and sticky, like candy-like, and your mixer temperature has gone down to room temperature. So it should look like this. A little sticky. Now it's time to combine the two together, the wet and the dry. Now it's time to add the food coloring. I use green and I'm going to mix it all together. Now I'm going to make my folds. It feels really stiff, but that's okay. Once you reach the stage, keep going. It will get softer. Just keep folding. Now you can see that it's getting lighter and it's dripping. You gotta fold some more. And you're almost there. Once you reach this stage, it should look like this like lava flowing off of your spatula. Um, there's no rules of how many folds. Just once you reach the stage, it should look like this. Time to get the piping bag ready. I'm gonna add my food coloring between the bags. This is how I'm gonna get two different colors. It's time to put the almond mixer in my piping bag. Just put it right in, like so. And of course, don't forget to cut your parchment paper. And you can use your baking tray. You can find the parchment paper anywhere. Now we cut the tip and 
we can start piping the macaroons. When you pipe, keep your hands steady and just start piping and pull it up once you're ready. Pipe, one spot, pull it up. And keep your arms straight, your hands steady, pipe it one spot and pull it up. Just like so. Just keep your tip straight down one spot. Once you get that perfect circle, pull it up. After you finish piping, let it sit for about 30 minutes. Once it's dry and looks dull, touch it. If it doesn't stick to your finger, that means it's ready to be baked. You can see it's already rising. The feet is already showing. Here I use 300 degree for 16 minutes. Once it's done baking, I let it sit and let it cool down for a good 30 minutes. After it's cool, you can pull the macarons up easily and it should have a flat surface. And of course you need your honeydew buttercream. For more on this information, please check out my next video on how to make honeydew buttercream. And of course my favorite part is piping the macarons with honeydew buttercream. And there you have it folks, Italian Macaroons Honeydew, straight from your kitchen. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. For more, please subscribe and like my page. Thank you, bye bye.